Enough chitter chatter. It's time to get busy. We got 2020 Top Series 2 uh, Baseball Hobby Box Ward number 5. Giordano. See, that's that's a that's a thinking man. You guys ever see the movie uh, The Butterfly Effect? I haven't, but apparently it's like so like Apparently you can't like if you do anything, like let's say you were to time travel. If you were to if you were to like kill a butterfly, for example, there could be catastrophic repercussions. You know, in the future. So, like, what if you did go back, find all the diamond mines, only to go back to your time, and then see that diamonds are worthless? Yeah, that that would be uh, that would be kind of uh, hilarious. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go. Before I do any of the randoms, uh, I do need to number these uh, packs. So in this deal, everyone gets to keep their packs. Whoever hits the autograph or the relic in their pack wins an additional sealed hobby box. Ooh, Cheeto Gaming. Again, you know, via the butterfly effect, let's say you do do that, you know, I can only imagine the hell you would, you know, that you would uh, unleash on Earth. You know, figuratively or maybe literally. You know, save Kobe, destroy the, you know, destroy all human life as we know it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry to say this, but, uh, nah. Later, Sims. Do your homework. Uh, make sure to read. Uh, I hope you learned a lesson to not put diesel in a gasoline engine. And I can't stress this enough, but read, buddy. Read. Before they take away your ability to do so. They are working on it. And by them, I mean uh, the Illuminati, of course. Duh. Alrighty. So, I'm going to number this stuff. <laughs> hey, I read books. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Hope you have fun playing Fortnite, man. There you go, Jordana with some knowledge right there, Sims. Diesel really only goes in trucks, so use that as a guideline. Hmm, is this a weed whacker or is it a truck? <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, JMS. Don't worry about it. Packs have been numbered 1 through 24. All right, as you can see, there cool. Let's roll the die. So, we're gonna go 12 times in the random. Let's pull up the random. 
and put this up as well. So everyone's gonna get a pack assigned to them randomly, and uh, let's see who gets what. As always, good luck, everybody. Thank you, Abe. All right, so start by randoming the names, then the packs, and then we'll see who gets what. Here we go. Money shot 12. Boom, 12. Jordana, you do anything for uh, for the Independence Day? For, for USA's birthday? Alright, now uh, 12 times with the pack. See who's what. Money shot 12, and boom, there it is. So we copy that, paste it there, actually, smooth that over, sort it by names. Alrighty. Oh, dude, those are the greatest. Like, you just throw them at people's feet and watch them dance. Always a good time. You know, people down my down the block uh, had some serious legit fireworks. So I enjoyed those from a distance. All right, so Scott has packed 20, uh, 23 and two. There you go, Scott. Good luck to you. TCU, aka John B. Has a 15 and 16. Wow, what are the odds of that? 15 and 16, there you go. What up, man? Hey! Just woke up, hangover. You're not the only one in this place that's hungover. And uh, it's not me, I'll tell you that. Some people just can't handle their liquor. Yeah, as a rule of thumb, I like every two drinks, I always have a cup of water. And that's my little cheat code to avoid hangovers. You got you gotta stay hydrated. All right, packs four, one, twelve, and eighteen uh, go to David. And what's cool about that is it doesn't like it doesn't what you call it, it doesn't sober you up. So you can keep on drinking as long as you have a cup of water every now and then. And Vincent, that's another one. You know, that too. That that's the secret weapon. Alright, so 19 and 6. Go to Gary. And every other pack goes to James. How's your hand coming along, uh, Jimbo? Off the pain meds. Nice, nice. So progress? So 14, 10, 24, 9, I mean, I'm just making sure here, 20, 3, 22, 8, 7, 13, 21, 11, uh, 5, and 17. Boom. All those go to James. And the silver pack, I will random among the hitless spots at the end. Alright, so let's start with uh start with Gary T. What you got for me? Let's see. Good luck, my dude. So we're looking at either the relic or the autograph card. Each box of this has a uh, has a short print. You know, Tuve Refractor there. Lewis Robert. Future Stars 2030. 
All right, that's it for that pack. Nice, nice, Jimbo. Good to hear. Good to hear. Hope that thing is healing up nicely. All right. Sorry, Gary. No uh, autos or relics in your packs, but you at least got to keep them. All right, next up is TCU. Incorrect. Uh, everyone gets to keep their packs. Uh, JMS. In the Hobby Wars, everyone gets to keep their packs. Whoever hits the autograph or the relic uh, not only gets to keep their packs, but they win a sealed Hobby Box as well. The Jumbos, on the other hand, are winner take all. Blake Snell, 35th anniversary. Alright, so no auto or relic in that pack, TCU, sorry. Vintage in the house. Alright, next up is Scott. Let's see what you got. We got a David Robertson Refractor Phillies. Uh, well, Vintage, as far as I know, just five right now. Like, it could be up to five more, but that's not my call to make, so... As of right now, just five. Alrighty. Sorry, Scott. No uh, auto or relic in that pack. Uh, David, you are next. I'll consider that one next time, uh, JMS. We got Elvis Andrus, Rangers. That is numbered to 76. Always fun to flip these cards right side up. We got an Altuve short print. Yep, 115. That is a short print right there. Very nice. But no auto or relic just yet, anyway. Pack 12 David. Okay, it's gonna be a pain. So when the baseball season starts, who's gonna be the first Astro player that gets beamed by a pitch? I'm sure there's a. I'm sure Vegas has odds on that. All right. Well, David, no auto or relic in your pack, but at least you got a, a numbered card and a short print. All right, James. I have the feeling that you're gonna win this war, but let's make sure. Yeah, two votes for Springer, a vote for Bregman. I would assume whoever the leadoff hitter is would be the first to get beamed, right? We got a Soto, Future Stars 2030. 
You guys think they'll have like a player get beamed in every game? I mean, there's only 60 games. That would be insane. If every game a different Astro player gets beamed. Like not like not necessarily in the face. But like just in general. Carlos Santana, 35th anniversary. Uh, right. So if they're only playing 60 games, there's 30 teams in the league. Are they playing each team twice? Schedule not out yet. Carlton Fist, 35th anniversary. Ah, that's correct. It would be 58 games because they can't play each other. Duh. Or maybe they play like two games against their division rivals or two or three games and then play everyone else once maybe? I don't know. Acuna, 35th anniversary with a black border. Number to two ninety nine. The Trout Man might not play. That would suck. All right, Nato Rockies twenty thirty. Eric Sogard, that is number to 2020. Basketball starts at the end of this of the month, which will be here before you know it. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for baseball too. I'll definitely watch baseball. Flaherty, Cardinals 35th anniversary. Any UFC fans out there? They just announced a huge fight today. Uh, Gilbert Burns, I think I think he came down with the COVID, unfortunately. I, th I think that's what happened. So he's not going to be able to fight um, Kamara Usman. And there's the relic. That wins the war right there. Javi Baez Cubs. Not number, but nice. So Gilbert Burns is not going to be able to fight Kamara Usman. Uh, so they went with their original uh, fight, which was supposed to be Jorge Masvidal against Kamara Usman. And those guys genuinely do not like each other. So it should be a good fight this Saturday. And uh, in case you didn't know, Masvidal is a Miami boy. So you know who I'll be rooting for. As a matter of fact, I need to, uh, I'm not a betting man, but if Masvidal is the underdog, I, I'd bet a couple hundred bucks on him. It d depends on what the, uh, on what the odds are. Uh, Steven Brault, Pirates Refractor. Kevin Kiermeyer. To 2020. Indians and Redskins are going to change their names. Yeah, what would you call the Washington Redskins, uh, JMS? Well, 
You know, they should do like they did for the Thunder and have the fans come up with a name and then just pick one of them. Ozzie Smith. The Washington Red, White, and Blues. That's a mouthful. I'm sure that'll strike fear in people's hearts. Oh, shit. The Red, White, and Blues are coming to town, y'all boys. Hide the kids. Hide the wives. They coming for everybody. <laughs> Yeah, no. Cody Bellinger, 2030. Future Stars. And, well, we already knew this, but James wins the war. Congratulations. You uh, not only got to keep your packs, but you get a whole sealed hobby box as well. Nice. All right, well, uh, for my hit list, folks, one of you... We'll get to win this silver pack here. Who's it going to be? Oh, well, let's find out. Let's go into our randomizer. Put that on the screen. So I'm just going to copy the names of the folks that did not hit. Copy and paste. Roll the die again. Going to go nine times. The Cleveland Teamsters would be a cool one. Uh, wasn't, what's this, wasn't Jimmy Hoffa from Cleveland or something like that? Or operated out of Cleveland? Anyway. Uh, nine times top name gets the silver pack. Here we go. Money shot nine. Boom. Nine times. Yeah, Jay Mess in rare form today. Congratulations, David. I couldn't get you a hit, my dude. Uh, but at least you got a silver pack. There are autographs and parallels and cool stuff in here. So there you go. And that's going to do it. Uh, thank you, everybody. We'll get it out.